hello friends welcome back to wisdom blog so uh, this is a, a troubleshooting video for uh, uh, esxi box so scenarios are like uh, we uh, one of uh, like our esxi box lost connection to vcenter uh, whereas uh, we are able to ping the esxi box so we need to turn off the esxi box uh, vms on the like it's like we need to turn on or turn off the vms on the esxi box we need to connect to esxi console and do it uh, and uh, second step is like uh, second option is like uh, we can connect to brow uh, using a web browser but uh, web browser is also not working due to some issue so we have only options is to connect to ssh or connect to esxi console so here i will show you how to connect to esxi console and uh, how to uh, power on or off uh, vms uh, using the ssh so let's go to our lab so here i have esxi box that is 192.168.0.224 vcenter 192.168.32 and I have a domain controller so we will be working on this part today so this is simply to uh, to help you guys whenever you are in such a, in a such a scenario where you are you are only have uh, access to console of ESXi or even you do you have only access of SSH so at that time how we can turn or, or turn on a VM or turn off a VM so that is go that, that is what we are going to work on this so <coughs> to enable uh, make sure that uh, whenever like your ESXA box uh, you want to connect to SSH just make sure that you already enabled it on the ESXA box then only you will be able to connect to SSH so for that we need to log into our ESXA box So if it is if uh, when issue occurred and uh, your SSH is not enabled, then you are you don't have an option to connect to console using uh, ESX box using the SSH. So just go to troubleshooting options, and uh, if you are able to see that my ESX shell is enabled, uh, my SSH is enabled. So when you press enter it will be enabled or disabled so now it is a disabled I am going to enable it so this is what we need to make sure that it is enabled so in some cases if it is uh, disabled and you need to log into console uh, and where you don't have an um, option to uh, see the uh, see the like option to enable SSH or nothing just uh, you, your console is working but you are not able to do any changes like enable disabling ssh all the stuff what you can do is uh, you can press alt f1 to get the support mode vmware uh, support mode where you can run the commands over here and uh, you can also troubleshoot or even you can power on or power off, power off the step vms so we can do it from here also so to make it to normal mode you need to press alt f2 so whatever you can you are going to do on the shell same same things will be done here so i'm going to run the commands in shell so let's connect to esx shell now using putty So we have just connected so here we need to we want to see the vms which are all running on this esxi box that is the command is vim dash cmd vms vc get all vms so it will display the list of all ESX, uh, all vms which are running on this box if you are able to see like uh, we have a w2016 one like windows 2016 box we have vcenter so vcli so these are all the boxes so we don't know whether they are powered off or power or power on or off so 
to know the status uh, we need to run the command for particular VM so that is vim uh, dash so first of all uh, if you see here like the if you see the headings like vim id vm id version name uh, all this so so we out of these like we need we must mm, know what is the uh, vm id and uh, by looking at the vm name uh, you know that this is the vm you are you want to restart or turn off or turn on so here uh, for v uh, w 2016 uh, vm id is 10 so i want to see whether it is turned or on off i want to know the status that is vm dash vmd vm svc power dot get state and the vm id is 10 so when i run the command i am able to see that the status is power on so for example if i am my box esxi is having some issue and uh, i want to uh, i want to turn off this vm and turn on on a, like uh, need to register on any other esxi box i need to turn off so in this scenario this will be helpful so i need to turn off this so i'm going to turn it off so using the command vim dash cmd vm svc power dot off vm id is 10 so when i run that command vm is turned off so we will just see on the vcenter what is the status so if you are able to see here the vm is turned off so if you want to turn it on back just run the same command with on option so when you see here it will be getting powered on now so you are able to see that it's it's getting powered on so using these commands we can just turn off or on the vm so in my next video like why why we need to do this uh, i will show some vm article and explain you uh, like when when a issue happens what we are going to do to make it a vm turn on or uh, to register a vm on another esxi box we will we will we will work on it so for now uh, that's all for this video i believe you guys uh, uh, learn something and uh, this video is informative thanks for watching bye bye